This dramatic drone video shared with NBC 15 News showing firefighters in Fairhope jumping into action as McDonald's on Greeno Road went up in flames. Now this happened yesterday around three in the afternoon around the same time many of us were enjoying our turkey dinners. NBC 15's Karis Harmon went to the scene today. Karis, after firefighters put out that fire, they thought their job was done, but then they were called back a few hours later to put out another fire in the same place? Yes, there are when fighting that fire for nearly 10 hours. The chief says no one was hurt. Take a look at this video. Flames stacked high and black smoke coming from the McDonald's on Greeno Road in Fairhope on Thursday. This is what the building looks like today. Buildings, are, unfortunately, the building's a total loss. Uh, there are no injuries, no staff was, uh, no McDonald's staff was hurt either. They were able to get out safely, but the building is a total loss. Chief Chris Ellis says this happened on Thanksgiving around three o'clock in the afternoon. Got here and there was heavy smoke showing. And then from there, we just went to work. Based on reports from staff, uh, the fire was uh, in the storm. Firefighters from several agencies battling the blaze. He says they left four hours later around seven o'clock. When we left, there was no smoke or, or fire or smoke or anything, steam or anything visible. And about nine o'clock ish, I believe, somewhere in there, we got called back. Because the flames had reappeared, he says crews didn't get finished until around two o'clock in the morning. Today, they went to the scene of the fire again, looking for hot spots. Checking the building, make sure, making sure there are no hot spots, or if there are, that we can get them quick enough before it becomes a bigger problem. He says the roof collapsed, which means there are spaces inside of the building where fire can hide. How quickly can that go from just a tiny little fire to a, a big one? If it's got the right right conditions very quickly. He says he had 25 volunteer firefighters from Fairhope taming the flames. Many of them were enjoying the holiday with their families. We were all at home um, and then we called for cert and got called to called out here and they left what they were doing and spent the next 10 hours or, or better uh, out here fighting the fire. Ellis says the fire marshal has been contacted to find out the cause of the fire. He says the marshal will be here in the next few days.